Um, this whole Darul Harb thing and Darul Darul Islam and Darul Harb. I could tell you guys that this is basically part of Islam, right? And this is what Islam does. But I'm not sure actually if this is what Islam does because Darul Harb and Darul Islam is not in the Quran and it's not. It's also not in the Hadith, right? So can we say that's part of Islam? I mean, maybe yes, maybe no. And a person prophet is here. A person prophet is saying thanks for recognizing my authority. Thanks for the subs. Also, Big Macs are bad. Yes, I agree. A person prophet, Big Macs are bad. Do not go eat Big Macs just because this guy says not everything that they uh, say is anti-Islam. Um, that doesn't mean I mean anti-Islam is good, okay? But that's that doesn't mean Big Mac is good, okay? Big Macs are bad. Do not eat processed food. Um, what was I saying? By the way, I posted Prophet. I have a link uh, to Streamyard in on Facebook if you want to join. Um, I was saying that this binary thinking is not. It's a human thing, I think, rather than Islamic thing, right? So I've seen. This is not uniquely Islam, right? So, but I do think like religion, you know, there are certain flaws within our, in, in human logic, that religion takes advantage of it and it, in, it increases it, right? It manipulates it uh, to, so that it becomes a problem on a much higher scale than it would have been if it wasn't with religion. But it doesn't mean that it's invented by Islam or any other religion, right? So this kind of dualism, this kind of you're either with us or you're against us. So you're either with us or you're against us. That kind of absolute, uh, as making a same absolute statement like that. This, I could, I could tell you guys. I could have like said like, okay, look, this guy, this guy is being influenced by Islam. They have Darul Harb and Darul Islam. Everything that is not part of House of Islam, they would consider it as House of War. And this is this guy must be influenced by Islam, and that's why that's why he's thinking like that. And that would be a narrative that I could push to you guys to say like, oh yeah, look, another Muslim being influenced by Islam and having a dumb conclusion because of that, right? Uh, but again, but I would have to be, if I want to be honest with you guys, I don't know if I could say this is Islam. Darul Harb and Darul Islam is not part of the Hadith, right? And this type of black and white thinking is part of the flaws within it's a it's a very common logical fallacy right it, the, black and white thinking binary thinking there's so many different names for this absolute statements right and you see it everywhere you see it in religions you see it among non-religious people you see it in a lot of other world ideologies right um you see it in Taoism, right male female black and white good and evil Good God, bad God, Satan, Yahweh, Ahrim and Zartosh, right? But you also see it in many other, you know, you see it in individual people that have been, you see it in individuals that haven't ever been influenced by religion, okay? So I think what religion does is just makes things worse, right? It just takes whatever flaws that we have and it just, makes it a lot worse sometimes sometimes it sometimes it adds new new problems that we wouldn't even have if it wasn't for something like islam like this is like okay this is just uniquely islam sorry like you know m moms celebrating the death of their children because they just were martyred uh, became martyrs yeah like people you know, dancing, you know, the, a mom holding a celebration for their child, which I've seen because their child, their son, their, their only son just died. Yeah, that's, yeah, I mean, that's, I've never seen that in anything other than Islam. But what do you guys think? So, like, for example, when it comes to Israel and Palestine, right? Some people saying, like, it's a political thing, it's a land dispute thing, it's not a religious thing, but of course it's a religious thing, right? But it's just like, it's a religious thing, and then you add religion, no, sorry, it's a land dispute thing, and then you add religion to it, and a complicated issue becomes a much more complicated issue, right?
So yeah, of course, without religion, we're gonna, still going to have war. Of course, without religion, we're still going to have corruption. Of course, without religion, we're still going to have um, con artists and violence and many other things. But you just add a touch of religion to it and becomes almost impossible to solve after, right? So there are, so there, okay, so there are certain things that it's not uniquely because of religion. Religion just makes it a lot, a lot worse, you know. Hitchens, like Hitchens says, religion poisons, poisons everything. Oh yeah, Apostle Prophet just used the emote. I can't highlight it, <laughs> the Quran looking one. Um, and then you have some unique things that certain religions have that is just that goddamn religion, right? And when it comes to those unique things that you don't get any, any those unique problems that you don't get anywhere else other than that specific religion, Islam has them the most. You know, like sometimes like there are certain behavior that is just so like what the F situation like and you're like, this, this cannot be achieved unless without Islam. This could not have been achieved. This level of absurdity is just Islam, right? I mean, there's a lot of absurdities like other religions have too that is not unique f to that religion. Like, for example, Christianity has, I don't know, just, you just get forgiven for your sins, right? You could you just like... Some people, you know, everybody is a sinner. All sins are the same. Um, some people lie to their parents. Some people commit genocide. Potato, potato. Um, all sins are forgiven through Jesus Christ. That seems ridiculous. That is ridiculous. It's not, uni it's not uniquely Christian. We've seen it before. We've seen it many times before. Christianity does it more than other religions, though. Like the whole, like, just cleaning everything up. Uh, with no, you know, just so easily, like just like just believe in Jesus and everything is okay. Christianity does that more than any other religion, right? But it's not unique. But the crime, there are certain level of crime and violence and absurdity that Islam just like, oh yeah, I you know this is just Islam, isn't it? Right. This this is just Islam. Like there's no nobody has managed to achieve this level of absurdity, this level of cruelty. You just just by the level of the violence and the absurdity, you see it and you're like, I see Islam, I I recognize it. They were saying, yep. <laughs>